measurement of time the interval between two events is called time we measure time with the help of mean solar day it is defined as time taken by the earth to complete one rotation about its own axis the mean solar day is divided into 24 equal intervals and each interval is called an hour one hour is further divided into 60 equal parts and each part is called a minute one minute is further divided into 60 equal parts and each part is called a second ancient methods of time measurement time has always been important to mankind the occurrence of day and night was used for the measurement of time in ancient days with the passage of time a candle clock a water clock a sundial a sand clock etc were discovered for more accurate measurement the sundial was used to record time in days of alexander the great 300 bce it is based on the fact that shadow of an object changes its position and length with the position of sun in the sky some historical sundials still exist in india they are situated in ujjain jaipur delhi and varanasi they are designed and built by maharaja jay singh of jaipur the time indicated by these sundials are correct however these do not work after sunset or on cloudy days modern clocks and watches also measure time with the help of events that repeat after a fixed time interval the simple pendulum is an example in a pendulum clock time is measured by making use of the time taken by the pendulum for each oscillation a simple pendulum is defined as a heavy point mass suspended with the help of a light inextensible string of negligible weight its initial position is at o when it is taken to position a and released it goes to b via o this process continues alternately the to and fro motion of the pendulum is called the periodic motion one complete to and fro motion is called an oscillation in figure initially pendulum is in mean position o a and b are its extreme positions one oscillation constitutes the movement of the bob from o to a and a to b and back to o the time taken by bob to complete one oscillation is called its time period device for measuring time interval the time interval of an event is measured with the help of stopwatch it is shown in the adjacent figure we generally measure the minimum time in 1 second from our clock but sometimes we require to measure 100th part of a second for this we need a highly accurate electronic watch these watches are used to measure time for athletic events units of time second is the si unit of time it is followed all over the world we represent it as s relationship between different units of time 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour 24 hours is equal to 1 day 365 days approximately is equal to 1 year 10 years is equal to 1 decade 10 decades is equal to 1 century is equal to 100 years 10 centuries is equal to 1 millennium is equal to 1000 years other units one mean solar day is equal to 24 hours is equal to 24 into 60 minutes is equal to 24 into 60 into 60 seconds is equal to 8 lakh 64000 seconds do you know in the middle ages candle clocks measured of equal units of time as the flames melted the wax 24 hour clock time commonly we use a 12 hour clock 
in such a clock the time from 12 o'clock at night to 12 o'clock at noon is given a suffix am and the time from 12 o'clock noon to 12 o'clock night is given the suffix pm many sectors like railways airlines etc use 24 hour clock some digital clocks and watches also display 24 hour time instead of 12 hour time in this clock time is not repeated on the same day and no am or pm is used the time schedule is as follows 00 00 to 12 is midnight to noon 12 to 24 noon to midnight 0 hour 0 minutes denotes exactly midnight time and 12 hour 0 minutes denotes exactly noon time the relationship between 12 hour clock time to 24 hour clock time is shown below 12 hour clock time 24 hour clock time 1 am 1 hours 4 am 4 hours 6:30 am 6:30 hours 12 noon 12 hours 1 pm 13 hours 10:45 pm 22:45 hours 12 midnight 24 hours 0 hour 0 to 0 hour In a 24-hour clock, time is shown by four units. The first two digits indicate the number of hours, and the next two digits indicate the number of minutes. For example, 1:30 a.m. is expressed as 1 hour 30 minutes, and 10:30 p.m. is expressed as 22 hours 30 minutes.